Greeting friends, it is I, Reform Stoic. I have an important message for you this evening, or whenever you decide to watch this video. One, two, three, four, baby. See that on the clock right there? One, two, three, four, that's called the straight. That only happens twice a day. And technically, because midnight is a new day, it only really happens once a day. Um, well, I guess it happens twice a day. <laughs> anyway, that's the rarest time, and it happened right when we started the video. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave that in the video, but let's not get sidetracked. I'm going to tell you how I think you should look at your life. And let's get started. Uh, I'm not going to beat around the bush. We're just going to get right to it. It's going to take however long it takes. <sighs> Your entire life up until this point, or probably a very recent point, depending on who you are, has been an illusion. The separating line, the dividing line between your past life and your new life is either being rejected by the world or it probably starts when you're rejected by the world and then you realize that you were never meant to be of the world and now you're here. And ultimately, I'm not so sure that everyone who follows my channel is a follower of Christ, is a believer in God and the Holy Bible. Um, what's going to happen to you if you are not a believer is you will very likely be sucked into the black pill and you will live at best a very painful existence unless you find a way to be reabsorbed back into the of the worldliness of the world. So I recommend obviously that you find your faith because God is isolating you separating you for you to have a realization that you have been been you have been being misled your entire life you thought the world was one way you thought it was about impressing everybody living up to expectations having a fornication a thon getting with as many women as you can get with you know looking good feeling good being number one in the world's eyes. It didn't work out that way. Your ship went ashore. You went through a shaming ritual, which is something that is being talked about online quite a bit. It has come to my attention, though I low-key was kind of like talking about the shaming ritual before I heard anybody else say it, because it's something that I felt I was living. When I first moved back to my hometown, um, a little over two years ago now, I thought, this feels like a shaming ritual. And now a lot of people are talking about it. So apparently it's a thing. Um, you got to realize, you have to wake up from the illusion. Because what's happening is, the illusion is crumbling all around you. But you might not realize it, and your things are disappearing. Oh no, my things. Oh no, my stuff. Oh no, my reputation. All these things are so precious, it's melting in your hands. It's like in Aladdin, when um, Abu the monkey grabbed the diamond, and you know he was supposed to touch nothing but the lamp, so all, all the money and the gold and the treasure, it just all starts to melt. It turns into sand in his hands. The things that you thought were important and probably still think are important and even after hearing this message you will still think they are important. They are being ruined all around you. That's very likely how you're feeling. I'm pretty confident I have an idea of the kind of people in my audience, the kind of people who have seen other videos on my channel. That's very likely the position you're at. now. But Reform Stoic, is it, because you know, people mock me by saying this, but sometimes people are serious. It's like, no offense, bro. I have a wife. I have kids. I have a career. I'm not an isolated person who doesn't have any friends like you. I mean, is that inherently 
bad? Am I not invited? Is it impossible for me to be a special person if that's the kind of life I have? Absolutely not, bro. You have things to lose. You are responsible for people. You, on some level, I mean, on an obvious level, you have more responsibilities. You have people that are counting on you. And these are very dark times. And, you know, hopefully you chose the right wife because there's a lot of temptations out there for women. There's a lot of things corrupting both men and women right now. But ultimately this idea that you can chad your way out of your wife being tempted by things of the world we're seeing a lot of evidence that that's not the case okay a lot of celebrity men top tier guys are getting left high and dry by women right now hopefully you chose the right wife um you probably did if you're one of these chosen guys i guess i could say because i'm not really trying to be wrapped up in that chosen ones movement but chosen by god you're a christian you're a real deal christian you're a man who maybe needs to find christ and hasn't found him yet um so you know hopefully you chose the right woman let's assume that you did you are responsible for your children okay you now maybe your wife's not going to leave maybe she's not going to leave you high and dry but you should definitely keep an ear out to see what she's telling her kids and what kind of messages are being taught in your household because these are dangerous times and things that might it's like oh you're being over dramatic and you're making a big deal souls are at stake your children's future is at stake their ability to be happy is at stake the difference between your children being happy and getting married and having kids of their own and having a career and being happy and saying and you know giving like shouting you out and their award speech ceremony and them getting on drugs and being ruined and destroyed and spending a life alone in ruination it's all on you the father the patriarch of the household now if you're a woman watching this video if you're a mother if you're a single woman or you're a woman in a relationship or married with kids you know make sure you're saved find Christ and just understand that your role is important the idea of patriarchy is not that women aren't important it's that it's that they have a role and that role is being abandoned in mass this is the role given to women by God, and women are usurping that role in favor of the role given to them by the state. Now, please don't be offended that, you know, the, the married men and the women aren't getting an equal attention here. This is my channel. You all know me well by now, or not, or this video is going viral and you haven't met me before. Hi, I'm Reform Stoic. My life is a complete mess, but I'm wise. I probably shouldn't say that on my own, but other people think I'm wise. Probably shouldn't say that either. Anyway, let's move on. Um, your life was an illusion up until this point, and you've either recognized that already, or it's technically being revealed to you right now that your life is an illusion, but you don't understand it. Horrible things are happening to you, and it's like, why is this happening? Why does it feel like I'm alone? I didn't get the job. I didn't get the promotion. My girlfriend left me. I lost the job. I'm getting canceled. And even to the targeted individuals out there, okay? We're, we're covering a lot of ground here. The chosen ones, targeted individuals. A lot of people say nutty stuff about that because I believe there's all kinds of undercovers out there giving misinformation. If you're a targeted individual, you've already recognized the illusion and the demons are pissed, okay? And I'm not one of those people who gives the misinformation that it's all witchcraft and apparitions in your head. No, it's agencies and government and a whole list of ABC organizations that are very real and it's a very real thing based in reality, but why is it happening to you? 
you have realized the illusion and you're speaking out against the illusion and I know that because that's what I'm doing, okay? Life felt normal and this is the world that atheists live in. Amazing things don't happen, miracles don't happen, life is real, oh that sounds like magic, that happens on Harry Potter, oh that sounds like science fiction, I saw that in a, mo in a movie. You know, a lot of what Hollywood does is show you these phenomenal things that are based on reality or they are reality and then when it happens or when somebody suggests that it's happening in reality it's like uh, you sound like you're talking about the movies you sound like you're talking science fiction you sound like you're talking fairy tales and fantasy get grounded in real real life brother you, you need to get your head out of the clouds and you need to get your head in real life okay fantasy movies science fiction movies a lot of these things are based in real life you know actually a lot of science fiction movies are based in exactly that science fiction fiction about science and then eventually science will take you to a place that in reality is fictitious but oh no you should have known this we we saw it coming with um star trek and star wars and it's reality science has made it a reality but we're kind of getting off track here, guys. It's a very simple concept of this video. So I don't want to say that the other stuff was filler. We visited some fun places along the way. But ultimately, we've arrived at our destination. Your life was an illusion. And if you can't accept that, it will destroy you. Because the things that you thought were important aren't important. And the things that used to be your life goals isn't really what your life goals should be. And what it means to have a good life, what it means to be doing good in life, to be where you need to be, is not what you thought. If you're the kind of person who's way ahead of me and you've already seen through the illusion and you're waking up other people to the illusion and you know what you're talking about and it's all based in following Christ and believing in the Bible, maybe you're Catholic like me, you might straight up be getting gang stalked and you might be a targeted individual and you might got government agencies on your ass because I do believe that there is some sort of a crossover between demonic things. The Bible speaks of principalities in high places. CIA is high places. FBI is high places. Uh, Department of Homeland Security is high places. Fusion centers are high places, okay? These are the high places where the principalities are. A principality is a demonic force that answers to a prince. Satan. Prince of the air. Um... So, yeah, if you get to a point where you, you already recognize that your life has been an illusion and, you, and you're working past that, demonic forces will come for you. And they manifest in all kinds of different ways. And if you're somebody who's not quite there yet and you're just started, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, I get it, Stoic. This is an illusion and I'm following Christ now and I'm changing my expectations. Sack up. Armor up. Put on the armor of God improve yourself but not like cringe uh internet improve yourself like everything through god everything through the bible okay this is a esv study bible okay i should probably have like a dewey rames or something but it doesn't it doesn't matter everything through the bible guys everything through the word of god and you know traditions and saints and if you want to be orthodox do your thing, and if you want to be Protestant, do your thing. Christ, the Bible, God, Old Testament, New Testament, okay? This is your guidebook. People talking about it. Smart people talking about it. If you want my advice on what I think are smart people talking about it, the saints, priests, people in holy orders. Watch out for the Jesuits sometimes, maybe. <laughs> Watch out for modernists. Watch out for people. You know, you got to compare and contrast your sources. But um, the curtain is being pulled back and it's being revealed to you. You might not know what you're seeing. The way that you comprehend it or your interpretation is that your life is being destroyed and that 
good things aren't happening in your life and you were meant to suffer, okay, I do, like, I want to kind of, things are coming to a point on my channel. We have the Christian content and we have the black pill, red pill content. You guys, I think that I am supposed to bring you to the light, okay? I am supposed to just guide you toward the word of God, toward Christ, because if you don't accept that, you're not going to make it. And that's not the only reason you accept it. You accept it because it's the truth and that is the way. This world is not what it seems, okay? And by all means, hit me up in my chat and have conversations with me. I am always happy to start from ground zero. It's like, you know what? Reform Stoic, I'm thinking that I'm believing in the Bible. I'm on the verge of accepting Jesus, but I don't exactly know why yet. Why should I not believe in what's been taught to me my entire life in public school? Because the fire in the minds of men and the builders of empire, those are both books, and the titles were very well selected. Fire in the minds of men, the enlightenment, the era of reason. It was a time when people decided that they didn't want to follow God anymore. They wanted to follow men. They wanted to follow the top men, but they wanted to be the top men. The Industrial Revolution shoved everybody into the factories. Those factories could only be controlled and run by a select few, and the masses were working in them. There was a period of time where people were pulled from their land, from their homelands, and they were put into these cities where the factories are, where there was a small few in control. This is, you know, Industrial Revolution, 1800s, and now we're here, 200 years later, we're deep into it, society has become a trap. It's a demonic trap as far as like who's in control of it. It's, it's a long list, okay? It's not just the Freemasons. It's not just this or just that things that could get me in trouble we live in a trap and a big part of that trap was a noble lie okay all the things plato's republic breaks society down into there's the philosopher kings and that's going to be like cfr and uh the royal institute oh uh, let's see what is that r Royal Institute of International Affairs, RIIA. Um, it's going to be like your Rockefeller, Bilderberg, Trilateral Commission. Okay, that's that's some of the Philosopher Kings. And then there's the private military of the Philosopher Kings. That's all the intelligence apparatus. That's the Department of Homeland Security, CIA, DIA. Uh, let's see, Central Intelligence Agency, Defense Intelligence Agency, DOD, Department of Defense, blah 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 goes on and on and on and then there's the people who are ruled over by the philosopher kings and then they have their private military um in plato's republic there is the allegory of the cave that everybody in the cave is looking at a lie that's the, sh the shadows on the wall and then the people are making the shadows the philosopher kings are making the shadows and if you go out and see the real world hey man there's a real world out there and you go try to tell everybody oh you know, the private army the intelligence agencies are going to be pissed off at you and ultimately it ends up being the people that kills you or at the very least in this modern world they're going to oust you and tar you and feather you and smear you okay allegory of the cave actually is like a strategy used by the elite because this is ancient wisdom of Plato that he foresaw that the masses would not be able to see the lie, they would grow attached to the lie, and they would learn to love the lie. And that implies the noble lie. The people in the cave believe the noble lie, which is an other concept from Plato's Republic. We basically live in Plato's Republic. Like the blueprint of Plato's Republic was the original totalitarian regime and it was all-encompassing and it was effective and it accounts for all the dystopian novels uh brave new world 1984 the matrix we live inside of this okay and the noble lie is ultimately that god is not real that the bible is a lie and things like you know the zeitgeist movement which is like, like, oh, you know, Jesus is based off of Krishna and all these other things. Literally just 
Google or look in YouTube, um, Theologian Refutes the Zeitgeist Movement, or you could have a conversation with me about it in my live stream. And then there's the Documentary Hypothesis, which is a little bit more complex because that was an academic attack on the authorship of the Old Testament, but there was a back and forth between theologians and universities, and you know where the ball landed? It landed in the universities in the early 1940s, and they said, you know what, we're just not gonna debate this anymore because we rule the world. And ultimately, World War I and World War II was like a wrecking ball that killed all kinds of traditional people who would have never been on board with this way of life, and it paved the way for the new Atlantis, the new world order, it's coming, it's here, it's all around us. And if you got a family, buckle up, suit up, you got things to lose, you got kids counting on you, you got a wife counting on you, run, run shop, prepare, buckle down. If you're like me and your entire life has been confusing and you're alone and you don't have nice things and you feel like, why does it feel like my life is just a big crap mess disaster? Because God has chosen you for something. Obviously, you need to believe in God. Obviously, you need to follow his word. And you need to realize that it just doesn't matter, okay? You've woken up from the simulation. You've woken up from the illusion. You've woken up from the lie. Um, simulation was a poor choice of words. This is God's world, okay? Gnostics think that God is evil and matter is evil and we need to escape matter to blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. This is God's creation. This world is beautiful. Nature is beautiful. Deers and the music. You know, the stereotypical mu nature music that you hear in like Bugs Bunny. Nature is beautiful. The sky is beautiful. People have created hell on earth. The builders of empire. The fire in the minds of men. It took some time, but it is here. And... It's terrifying, and you know, AI, technocracy, uh, these are a couple of the labels for like the final omega point of where everything has headed, and you just need to wake up, you need to realize that your past life didn't matter, like, oh, I, did, I couldn't fornicate with a ton of women, and I know other guys, and they, they fornicated a lot, and I didn't fornicate, fornication is a sin, bro, okay, if you got a little bit it's done, you didn't know any better, if you never got any, bro, it's like, it just doesn't matter, okay? We'll talk about it on live stream, I'll make a different video about it. It doesn't matter how many times you fornicated. It doesn't matter how many secular relationships you had. It doesn't matter if you got this position in the world or this position in the world and you made this much selling out to the world and you made this much selling out to the world. You gotta figure out how to eat, but ultimately, Jesus told you not to worry about how you're gonna eat. Jesus said you cannot serve two masters, you cannot serve God and money. Jesus didn't tell you how not to be anxious, he just said, don't be anxious. Don't worry, because you're with God. If you're not with God, get with God. Arm yourself, my friends. These are dark times. That stuff that happened in Maui is really dark, and I'm not gonna get into detail. Um, dark things are happening in the world, my friends, and ultimately, you're in a place right now, because I'm in this place where the illusion of your life hurts more than it ever has. Like, you just really feel like your life has been a major catastrophe, major disappointment. You, like, you're just ready to just sit with the black pillars and think, wow, this is brutal. My life has been brutal. I've been through the ringer. I've been swimming through a sewer swamp of loneliness and disappointment and despair, and I can't believe that this happened to me. You need to let that go, because all that life was, was a launching pad that led you here. And you're not gonna realize it right now, but if you do the right things, okay, it's a played out metaphor, it's just been done to death. You just took the red pill, and you just left the matrix. And now you're hanging out with the aut autismo spurgtismos in the spaceship. It's like, hey man, this is real life. And you're like, oh crap, I wish I was in the Matrix, but this is just real life, bro, okay? And someday, you're going to be partying in Zion, and maybe you'll find a Zion girlfriend, and you'll figure it out. But this is real life, and you got to accept it, okay? 
your public school is filling your head full of lies, and the universities are filling your head full of lies, little buddy, and um, this whole little life, like, oh man, I'm gonna go home and turn on MTV and VH1, and oh, I'm gonna go buy another, I'm gonna buy the latest new metal album, or I'm gonna go get the latest mumble rapper, or hey, I think I'll watch the latest Hollywood movie. Oh, look, another Avengers movie. It's all just a big crock of lies. It's all been a pack of lies. Okay? Um, come to my live streams. Talk to me. Send me an email, perennialstoic at gmail.com. It's just, the message is clear. It's about to be one in the morning. I hope you guys understand, man. I'm not telling you how to get over your suffering. I'm telling you two things. You have to get over your suffering and God will get you there. And if you get to the next level, if you get to the level where it's like, okay, ultimately the things I've experienced in this life it doesn't really matter. The knowledge that you learned matters. Figure it out. And, you know, I'm not telling you to, like, be a bum and not learn from your past. Absolutely. Learn. Knowledge is a positive. But all that dead weight, all that suffering, all that, wow, this sucked and that sucked and everything just sucked and my life has been a massive disappointment. You gotta let that go, buddy. Because it doesn't matter. And the people who beat you, they're all wrapped up in the illusion. And when everything starts to go, when the lights go out and the chaos begins and life around us just starts to decimate, they're going down with the ship, bro. Because they're basically a part of the simulation. They're basically a part of the illusion. They are so wrapped up in the world. They're the people in the cave, man. They're all wrapped up in it. It means everything to them. You're special. You're different. God sees potential in you. And when you do see through the illusion, and if you do see through it at a high level, and you do start waking other people up and trying to take people with you, hey man, I'm leaving the cave and I want you to leave the cave, here's why to leave the cave, watch out, buckle up, arm yourself, because the devil does not want to let anybody go. He doesn't want to let your family go. He doesn't want to let your friends go. He doesn't want to let you go. Even if you're trying to go by yourself, bro, that's more than enough to piss the demons of this world off. They will come for you, all right? This is the real deal. This is the real deal. I get followed around by weird glow-in-the-dark people, all right? I'm not even kidding you. If I leave my house, people try to follow me and make weird faces at me. It sounds crazy, doesn't it? I don't know what to tell you. I do know what to tell you. I just made a 27 minute video about it. But um, this isn't about me. This is about you and your suffering. Okay, I'm ready for the next phase. I'm gonna study, I'm gonna read the Bible, I'm gonna take care of myself, I'm gonna eat good. You're, wherever you live, that is your fortress. Keep your place clean. You know, you can find books online. Um, talk to me. Get in my chat, let's have discussions, let's talk about it. You need to forget about your past. You need to leave it behind. It's time to wake up, guys. That's what I got for you. It's not perfect, but it's what we got for now. God bless.